Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you are new, my name is Fatima. And for those that have been commenting and uh, subscribing and giving me a like, um, I want to thank all of you for um, subscribing and for, for being with me throughout my journey. Today we're going to do something that some of you might think I'm crazy, but I've always done it all my life and it always worked because I'm always thinking of going forward but not backwards. So anything that I have to do to go forward, I'm there. So I really don't mind doing this, but maybe you guys might think that um, I'm kind of crazy to do it. But um, it might work out for you guys. For me, I know for sure it's going to work. So today what I'm going to do is I have decided, because my head is always, always thinking of something. So I have decided today to take out from my challenges and from uh, two of my sinking funds to pay off the rest of my uh, triangles. Um, I need, in order to accomplish this challenge today, I need $294, which we are so very close. So I decided to do that since I'm not really using the money for anything else, I might as well put it to a good use where we're going to pay off this challenge, get our $500 and, and um, invest into a bigger challenge. So this is what we are going to do today. Today, I'm going to pull out from, which, let's see, I'm going to be taking out from my self-care. Um, I have not been using my self-care, and eventually when I do the seeking funds, I will, I'm not going to pay myself back because I really don't need you know much right now. What I'm gonna do is next time that I do my seeking funds, I'm going to add um, more money on it. But since I really don't really don't need it, um, I'm going to pull out a hundred dollars from my self-care and I have it was a hundred ten dollars. I'm gonna leave the ten dollars in. And I'm going to take out the 100. So today I'm going to record that I took out the 100, but not to spend it, to reinvest into another challenge that's a lot bigger than the one that I have. Um, that's just how I worked since I was a little, I got married young at the age of uh, 17, and my mother, uh, she always teached us uh, how to save the same way as I teach my kids, how to save and what to do, and always use your head to go forward. No matter what you have to do, except steal or kill, but anything else, you do what you need to do to go ahead with your own money and invest it the way you think it's best to make money. So, um, I remember my grandma, and uh, she, I mean, my grandma was like my mom. I loved her. Um, let me uh, tell you, I'm going to take out another 100 from my food budget, but I am going to pay it. I only owed 100 on my food budget, uh, but I maybe when I get my tax refund, I'll pay it back. So I'm going to take this out and put 200. I'm going to take another 100 from my um, food budget and to pay that the um, to pay for my uh, challenge. So it's going to be another 100 from here and we are going to write that I owe because that I am going to pay back because that's uh, food and uh, you shouldn't be taken out of your food to um, do anything, but since I am, I have a lot of food, I have my refrigerators, like I've been saying, a full, and um, right now I really don't need much, so I am going to take it out, but I am going to uh, put it back, 
so I'm just borrowing um, without interest <laughs> from the, because if you borrow from the bank, you are going to, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Uh, you, um, if you borrow from the bank, you are going to pay interest, but I am borrowing from the food budget, but I am not going to pay interest on that. So we put a $200 that uh, we do owe on our food. Um, so I remember, like I was saying, I remember my uh, grandma, um, when my, I, at the time we had like a maximizer account in the bank and my um, grandma, she came from Portugal and she was living with my mom and I would always talk to her about everything. And one day, um, the Maximizer account was going to open. And I needed $200 to make, let's say, $10,000. Um, for an example, $10,000. And I would say, Grandma, could I borrow $200? But you know I'll pay you when I get paid. She goes, hum, it's that time of the year, huh? And I said, yep. And then she would ask, well, uh, how much are you going to make? And I would say, well, with a $200, I'm going to make, let's just say, a $10,000 closed. And I'm going to reinvest it back with the money that I already have there. And I would make, for example, $20,000 or whatever. You know, I would close, instead of having uh, 10000 or 9005 I would have the whole 10000 and then reinvest it for a year. And so my grandma, she would say, sure, because uh, she knew I would pay her back. But every time, I would never ask her to borrow money. It would only be the time that um, I was going to be uh, putting it back. It's almost like saying an investment, putting it back, back in the bank, closing it for a year where, you know, nobody would touch it. And we would make extra interest on that when interest was high. So, yeah, I remember that. My grandma, she, she died and, and it, it was hard for me. She, she was my, she was my everything, let's put it this way. And she knew it and we told each other every secret, everything that we needed to talk, we would talk to each other. So I'm going to be taking out, I have here on the, um, my $5 challenge, which the $5 challenge and the dollar channel challenge and the uh, dice challenge, everything is for uh, to reinvest. So I have uh, sixty-five dollars in the dollar in the five dollar challenge. So I am going to take the sixty dollars. So twenty, forty, sixty, and we are left with five dollars. So that is okay because we are reinvesting it. We are not going to um, spend it um, on anything. We're just going to reinvest it. So for me, that is fine. I don't mind um, taking from somewhere to put it somewhere else to be able to later on make more money with that. So that is um, no problem to me about doing that. Maybe some of you might think that it's not a good idea, but for me, it is a good idea. Okay, so now we have uh, taken out the um, $60. Now I need $34. So I'm gonna take the 30 from my dollar from my dice because I have on my dice, on my roll the dice, I have 20, 40, 50, 60, and 70. So I'm just going to be taking out $30, 20, 30, $30 from my dice game, which I'll still have $40 left over. And I'm going to take out the remaining $34 from my dollar jar, which is, like I said, it's an investment too. So it's to invest to... It's not to spend, so I don't mind pulling out a little bit early, $4. Next time, I'll just put more. So that is $4. So now we have, let me put this together so that we know what we are looking at. If I calculated right, I think we should have the 294 plus 
the money that I've already have saved up. So 100, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94. So we have the $294 that we need for that. Also, I'm going to take out from the $500 challenge, I am going to take out the rest of the money and I'm going to count it again because we should have the full 500 and if not we are in trouble but I think we should be okay because I did not count beforehand I'm just um, like I said when I have an idea it comes and it is I have to do it when my ideas come because it's a sign that I got to listen to my head and listen to myself because it is for the best. So let's count. And I'm hoping that we do have the 500. So here we go. 100, 200, 300, 300 over there, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, and 98. Okay, so we do need uh, two more dollars for the 500. Okay, I'm gonna count one more time to make sure because we should count, when, especially when it's something this big, we should be able to count and make sure that it is how it's supposed to be. Let me see. Okay, so we're going again. Okay, 100, 200, 300, so 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 400, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 500. Now we have the 500. So we're going to put this, it doesn't matter what, which, um, which uh, order it goes, but we have 500. Okay, so what we're gonna do right now is, we are going to finish the $500 challenge. I am not going to color, especially on camera, because of, it goes all the way through to the other side, but I am just going to, I think that's not the right one. It really doesn't matter, but to make it look neat, it would be nice to do it. Um, we are going to just color this like that for right now. Just kind of mark it. Next time, I'm just going to make a cross because it goes all the way through, and I don't want to waste these challenges because I am going to be doing challenges from now on. So, okay, so we are all done with this challenge and I'm going to write the date that I finished it. So we started uh, April 1st and we finished it. Today is the 12th. No, it's not the 12th. Uh, oh, I forgot what day it is today. But anyways, um, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to mark that we have finished it and finished. One more challenge. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do with this is I just can't wait till I get started. That's just how I am. And I will do what needs to be done to accomplish my goal. So now, look what we're gonna start. We are gonna start the $10,000 challenge. And 
pretty soon I will be done with my $1,000 challenge. And when I am done, I have eight more, eight and a half more squares to go. But you know me, anytime, if I put a little bit of effort into it, I will um, do some and then I will probably end up doing the same thing as I did right now. Take out from a, a place and to put it here and finish it up and then use that money to start doing the $1,000 challenge. So we have right now $500. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out, I think I'm just going to start from the top to the bottom. Um, it's going to be harder, but I think it's a lot better. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five. So one, one, two, three, four, five. So we already have $500 into the $10,000 challenge. So, you know, we already started really well. So whenever I get my $1,000, it's just going to be more. And I won't take the 52 weeks and buy maybe, I don't know, a couple months down the line, I'm going to have the $10,000. And what am I going to do with that $10,000? I have so many plans, but not to waste, either to pay or to save it. One of the two, but I'm not sure yet. We will see when the time comes, but one of, the two, one of those two things is either I'm going to pay uh, my visa uh, if I don't pay it before then, uh, or I'm going to put it back into the bank and we'll start again with another challenge. So I hope that you guys, I'm, I, and I am going to mark here so that we know when we started. I'm going to leave the, I'm just going to put the month and the year, and then I'm going to check to see what day it's we started today. Because um, I didn't even look at the at the um, date, and because I don't work, I don't, my bills, they come all out of my um, account or out of my visa, I really don't um, know what the actual uh, date is. So, yeah, so we are, like I said, we're on our way already. I hope you guys really liked my idea. And I hope that it's a good idea that you guys, um, that you guys think that it, you guys can do it. Because anyone can really do it if you just put a little bit of, um, put a little bit of effort into um, doing your, your uh, challenges and try not to spend that extra uh, money if you really don't have to. Use it for your benefit. Um, if you need to use one challenge to do another and make it to go, for, to go forward, not backwards, go ahead and do it. As you've seen, I didn't use none of this money for me. This money is to put back into the $10,000 challenge. So I'm going to put here the $10,000 challenge. So you can see, $10,000 challenge, and I'm going to put the money here in the front, right there, $10,000 challenge, and I'm going to get all the, the $500, and I am going to put it here. So we already have a little bunch there, and the rest that I have back there is for the $1,000 challenge. So we are doing real well. I mean, we're doing well because of the fact that, one, I didn't need to buy anything for the self-care. So why just add on to it when I could use it for something else? And next time I do a sinking fund, I could probably put 50 or $40 in there to make up a little bit of the difference that I borrowed from. Uh, but that I don't need to pay back. Now, I borrow from, the, um, from my food bill, but that is okay because, like I said, right now I'm not really using it. 
And um, I do, once in a while, if I need it, I use my visa because I like those points. So that will be part of me saving for the visa to pay uh, a big chunk off of that. Um, also, I have other uh, plans uh, with the some of my challenges and things. Um, I will let you know as we go forward in the couple of weeks um, because there is something that um, I'm going to let you guys know um, in a couple of weeks and then I can explain myself exactly um, you know uh, how I'm gonna have that extra money to when I come come uh, I'm already letting you go uh, I'm gonna have extra money so that I can uh, stuff and then I will use it probably to stuff the thousand dollar challenge and we can put more towards that ten thousand because I don't want to take the 52 weeks I, if I can take just five or six months or seven, that's what I'm gonna do. So yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. So that's what we did today. I hope you guys liked it. Um, the dollar challenge, I'm not worried about because every time I have extras, if I have five or 10 or whatever, I'll put it back in here. Um, the dice game too, I mean, it, that's what it's for, for what, whatever I need it. It's uh, a challenge that I'm doing, but if I need this money to do something else, I will use it. And the same goes with a $5, and the same goes with a $1 challenge. So I think enough said. Um, I hope you guys understood what I did. I hope you guys thought that it's a smart idea. And if you guys think that it's smart and you want to use it, um, try it out and see. Uh, because you can't go wrong. Uh, going forward, forward, I mean, you can't go wrong. So enough said, I could talk forever, so, but enough said, um, we will see you in the next video. Goodbye.